Hello and welcome back to Watermelon Fitness. My name is Ravana, in case you don't know me already, and today I've got a very special five minute mobility sequence for you, specifically for these bad boys, our wrists, and I even put nail varnish, especially for the occasion. I never really wear it. So this is dedicated to Sue. I am so proud of you, Sue, if you're here doing your mobility and anyone else who's joining who wants to improve the range of motion, get more mobility in the fingertips and just generally maybe build your handstand, your headstand and any, it will benefit anything you do in the gym. So let's get straight to it. Follow along, maybe grab a mat. I've got one behind me. Let's go for it. Starting on our mat here, we are going to place our wrists and really spread the fingertips. From here, I'm gonna go up and really lean into the finger length and then into the fingertips. Drop down again and then drop the palm. So we're really focusing on that bottom part of the hand, pressing into the floor. This inner part, we are slightly lifting and then the fingertips are really imprinting into the mat. Lift one, lift two, down, and down. If this feels particularly hard, take it slowly. Big inhale as you lift, press the fingertips down, down, down. It looks so weird just with the hands. I am here. <laughs> they are connected to me. Down and low, up. Couple more. If you want more, you can lean a little bit further back so there's more weight in the hands. Knuckles point down, and then from here, I'm going to give it a quick shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And go quite vigorously here. And then I'm taking the back of my hand and popping it onto the mat. The fingertips are facing towards each other, and the thumb is going forward. Maybe this is enough for you. Maybe you're kind of slightly crooked. That's completely fine. Just work with your range of motion today. And then from there, you're taking up space with the hands as much as possible, and then making yourself as small as possible. Inhale, expand, exhale, contract. Inhale. You might find that you might not be able to get fully in, but even if you're just slightly bringing the fingertips in, that is helping the contraction. In and out. Lengthen the thumbs every time, if you can remember. And you're feeling this all the way up your forearms as well. There's a lot of nerves, tendons. Again, if I want more pressure, I can lean my body weight into it even more. Shake it out. From here, I like to kind of take a little bit of a break in between each one. And I can take one hand. If I'm gonna work on the left wrist, I'll take my right hand and I'll just gently press down my forearm, applying pressure, pressing exactly there on the joint as well. Not too far up the hand, just there. Come down and up a couple of times. And then you'll take as if you want to pull your hand away from your forearm. So keep everything neutral, pull your hand away. You'll feel, you might feel a little bit of a click. So pull it away and then let's do the other side. Massaging into the fingers, just a bit closer. I'm really squeezing, quite a firm grip. And you can see the hand comes in a little when you do it. And then shake it out. From here, you can do this sitting or standing. You're going to, as if you want to show me something in your hand, you're going to open out your hand like this and take your opposite hand and lean the wrists back towards your forearm. Keep this thumb strong as well. Maybe lengthen the arm, relax the shoulders, breathe in here. Maybe you apply more pressure if that feels easy. Less pressure it feels if it's pulling more. And then from here, bringing my thumb back, show me your palm. Gosh, my hands look huge. <laughs> and flip it around. Fingertips point down now, you're doing the same thing. Remember, be gentle if this is the first time doing some wrist mobility or the first few times. Try not to go past any pain. When you feel pain, just relax, take a breath, maybe do the massage again. And we'll go to the other side, give it a shake. Sometimes I like to do like a telephone sign and then shake it that way. Shake, shake, shake. And then we'll go again. 
Same thing on the opposite hand. Show me your palm. Fingertips point down. Breathing all through here. I can feel it pulling. And then right thumb, pull it back. The thumbs have a lot more range of motion than we think. Sometimes our thumbs can feel quite stiff. Before I started doing this, my thumbs felt so stiff. Change it around, other direction. I really love that, because then you're getting the opposite stretch to what you were getting earlier. Telephone hand, shake it, shake it. We'll just finish off with some circles. Yeah. That's it, so keep going through with that full range. I love the way I'm saying, yeah, that's it, as if I'm watching, but I'm actually seeing myself. I'm like, yeah, well done, Romana, you're doing well. <laughs> Sometimes we all need a little bit of encouragement, even PTs. Okay, shake it all out. Give yourself a big pat on the back for getting your wrist mobility done. Maybe you're gonna go and do some handstands now. I know it definitely helps the quality of my handstands if my fingertips are engaged and my palms are working and the knuckles. You can see here that that muscle for me has gotten much more sturdy through the years because of doing lots of wrist work and lots of handstand work. Uh, still not exactly where I wanna be, but we'll get there. And thank you so much for coming along on this little wrist mobility journey. And maybe try it again another time, see if there's a little bit more movement there, push yourself a little bit further. But again, don't move past any pain. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like these. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you'd like to see more of. And let me, let me know how the wrists are feeling at the end of your session and maybe if you have a handstand session let me know if it makes a difference anyway sending you lots of love and power to you